Hey everybody, Metagross Freak here on a lovely Tuesday, and I'm playing a new game called The Bridge. It's a puzzle game given to me by my friend, uh, Dark Cloud or Dacker Cloud. Uh, he's not online right now, but you've seen him or heard him many times if you've seen a number of my videos. So I know that there's a bunch of um, YouTubers who have already shown solutions, however, I am bad at puzzles. And I thought it'd be fun, just you know, to, uh, to 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 fail at puzzles on camera. Now I'm actually in chapter four, so I'm actually gonna go back to chapter uh, chapter one because I don't remember the solutions to all these puzzles, but I will explain how I figured them how I figured them out as I'm going. Um, it's a really fun game, and I don't know how much. He got it for, but I think I, I know. But my, but I think Lucas got it on Humble Bundle. Sorry, Dacker Cloud got it on Humble Bundle. But yeah, um, this is a cool game because you essentially get to rotate the world as you see I'm doing. Um, so I, oh, I didn't need to turn it upside down. My bad. My bad. I forgot I was just going to one. Okay. So, I will probably break this into, I'll probably break, break chapter one into a couple parts. Um, most of the puzzles are really short in this area, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, I think there's only like five or six. There's five, I think. Let's check. Oh, I did not mean to turn it. I, I, like, oh, I just got the game yesterday and I already forgot the controls. There's six. There's six levels here. So, time for the first one, which is the loft. I also really like the artwork they did for the uh, the loading screens. Rather than just have one generic loading screen, they have multiple loading screens. Um, I've also taken it out of full screen mode so I can see the clock, so I can make sure I don't have like a 30 minute episode. Because um, I know some of you guys like shorter some of you guys like shorter videos, and some of you find them annoying. All right, so you can move left and right, and you can enter doors. You can also tilt the world. Um, so the strategy for this one is to find a way up to that door. And as you can see on the top level, there's that platform. So you have to figure out how to get to that platform. Um, the only way to get there so far is to go on this loop. Obviously, this is world one, puzzle one. So this is obviously the easiest one, easiest, easiest uh, puzzle in the game. And it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, took me like 30 seconds to figure out the first time I played it. And I know it's a little my brain bendy, but uh, yeah, that is uh, one one. So I'll do. I'll probably do either. I'll probably do one two, maybe one three as well. It's uh, either one or two more puzzles, and that'll be the first episode of a uh, a series of me being potentially good at puzzles, depending on how well I can remember these. So next up is the library. And here we're introduced to these, this sliding door. It's the only time we see one, uh, it's the only time I've seen one so far. There is another one that uh, leads to a secret area after the uh, the fourth world, which I'll show, but you have to turn the world to get the, I guess you could call it a book, I'm not sure really what it is, I'm just going to call it a book. You also notice that the door is locked, there's a key that's sliding around, but when I grab the key, the door automatically unlocks, which is nice. Next up is The Menace. This introduces the game mechanic of The Menace, which is a large black ball. It's a really annoying character. I mean, it's not really a character, but it um, it, it appears in many of the uh, missions. You can see it down there on the left, and it's kind of weird. If you touch it at all, you die. Um, which, also another feature of this game is really cool. You can hold space to go back. So let's say I realized, oh no, 
you know, mid fall, I can go back and fix it. Um, I'm trying to remember how I did this one. I think I had to do clockwise. I think I rotated this all clockwise. Nope, no, I went counterclockwise, I think. Hmm. Oh wait, wait. That's right. I had to go count. I had to go clockwise to get onto the platform, and then go counterclockwise. I think to. I don't remember how I did this. Oh wait, that's how. I gotta perform the magics. There we have it. I just have to get to a place where I can climb down. I guess I the one thing I uh, let's see next up is courtyard here. We see the menace again. Um, you know, it's been a short episode, so I think I'm just gonna do uh, courtyard. The one thing I think I don't like about the controls is um, there's you know no jumping, which would be kind of nice. I think it'd be nice if you could jump, but also he—he's slow. You know, like I'm not just being slow when I'm walking like this. This is his normal walking speed, and there is no running, there is no jumping. Um, so if that's what you are going for in your puzzle, you'll be disappointed. Um, though apparently you can survive. There is no fall damage, which is nice. Um, I think I'm doing this one right. Okay, and this. I, so I'm, I'm basically swinging the menace ball out of the way so I won't die. As you can see, I have the key. I have the key. And um, I think the ball won't get in my way. Okay, so the ball is out of the way. I think it's stuck. Cool. So I'm just I'm just gonna fly. Fortunately, I couldn't go through the wind through the uh, the door. I wasn't I guess lined up with it enough. But by, just by rotating the world around, I can go through. All right. Um. So next episode, I will do level one five, the spiral. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like or a comment or share with your friends. And uh, if you, if you want to see more, you know, just keep watching stuff like this. Until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and thanks for watching. Bye.